some people flex money some people flex cars and jewelry i want to flex my super cool 7x5 nature posters if you guys think these are cool and you want to add them to your office let me know i'll put the link for them this one looks to be lake tahoe or possibly some switzerland-esque lake over here i got these enchanted pussy willows as soon as i wake up I think it's very important to have nature everywhere you go. So a question I've been getting asked a lot lately is, Zach, do you bag clippings? Do you charge extra to bag clippings? And do you recommend that I, the viewer, should bag clippings myself? So let me answer all those questions. Preface, this is just how I view everything and this is just how I built my business. Is this perfect? No, it may be, but it might not be. But this is just my opinion and this is what works for me. So. Where I live here down south in Texas, I very, very rarely see a bagger on a mower. Once in a blue moon will I see a mower in a truck or trailer with a bagger on it. Every mower I see on average has no bagger and it's just the mower that's mulching up the debris. Same thing when I see a yard being done, it's just somebody mowing the yard without a bagger. So do I bag myself right now? I don't. I haven't bagged in around two or three years and I'm very grateful because I don't enjoy bagging and I'm not afraid to say the things in lawn care that I do or don't like. I think there's this huge um, misconception or view on lawn care that you have to do it just like somebody else but the reason I started my business is because I wanted to operate in the way that I enjoyed. I love mowing, I love trimming, I love edging, I love blowing. I don't like bagging so I built a business around mowing without bagging. Simple enough, right? I wish it was. So. Do you charge extra for bagging? When I used to bag, I would definitely charge extra because if I could mow, trim, edge, blow a yard in 20 minutes, but now I have to add the bagging concept, I have to start and stop, it interrupts the workflow, and I might have to haul clippings off of the yard, I'm definitely gonna charge more because it's gonna take longer and it's gonna take more effort. So say if I was doing a $50 yard, I was honestly quoting $30 on top of the 50 to bag, so that'd be an $80 cut with a bag. And customers would still take me up on that happily, and as long as they paid me, I would do it properly. But I stopped doing it because once I started getting lots and lots of customers when I was doing 10 yards a day, I just couldn't bag, nor did I wanna bag 10 yards in a row. So I stopped offering it as a service. Now, if a new caller called me and they wanted me to mow trim edge blow their yard, but they also wanted me to bag it, I would decline the offer and tell them that I don't bag. And if they want somebody who will bag their yard every single time, I'm just not the business for them, no hard feelings. If they wanna get it bagged, they could find somebody else to replace me in a heartbeat. But if they wanna use me, in my non-bagging services, that's fine. But if not, that's fine as well. So I think that's a very important concept to have outside of bagging is just, you are not gonna please everybody and you're not gonna be able to fulfill everybody. So just take what you can. You don't need every single customer in the town. You just need enough. And I have enough customers that don't expect or want bagging to keep me happy and to keep the customers happy. So that is, do I bag? That is how I charge for bagging. So up north i think in say michigan uh minnesota washington i have no idea about washington but people like brian's lawn maintenance he has a cool channel you should check him out if not but if you're watching me i'm sure you know about him because he's a bigger youtuber than me but i see them bagging a lot and i don't know if that's included or if it's extra but i think for certain cool season grasses up north that bagging might be essential and it might be the norm so if you live in the north i can't speak but for here down south in texas if you're a down south southern friend of mine, you don't have the bag, I don't bag, and if you want a bag, go for it, but just charge extra. So there's only two circumstances where I could think of a customer asking me to bag or where I might bag. The first one would be if the customer has been mowing their own yard their whole life or for as long as they've had their house, not since they were a baby. They've been mowing and bagging themselves because I see a lot of homeowners bagging. So they might call me and say, Zach, can you maintain my yard? Um, if so, can you bag? To that, I will tell them that I can maintain your yard, but I don't bag. So it's up to them again if they want to use me or not. The second circumstance would be more on my personal preference to bag, more so than the homeowner asking me. And that would be if the yard is super tall with weeds and grasses and all this crazy stuff. So in the past, I would think that bagging it and stopping and then unloading the bagger was more efficient than just simply mowing over, discharging and mowing over and discharging but from my experience, bagging and stopping and bagging and stopping was not more efficient for me. What was more efficient was simply just discharging the clippings, the weeds, the grasses, and just mowing over two, three, four, five, 
six times until the yard looks perfectly fine. That way, I never stop moving, so I feel like my personal workflow is uninterrupted. Even if it's taking me more stripes, the yard is gonna look better eventually, whether it's a couple stripes or more stripes, depending on how tall the yard is. But ultimately, I'm able to knock all the yards out that are taller by simply just discharging and going back and forth, and maybe even weed whacking the yard first before mowing over, instead of simply just bagging and stopping, because again, I don't like bagging and stopping. So I think that was all the bagging questions I've been getting asked lately. Do you have the bag? No, I have a business built around not bagging and I'm grateful because I don't like bagging. I do the work that I like doing and I think you should do the same. Should you charge extra to bag? If you're down here in my area or in the Southern area, I think you should. If it's a service outside of your usual services, if it's an additional, then you should charge more. It's like saying, should I charge extra for shrub trimming? What did you quote the customer for? Well, I quoted the customer for mow trim edge blow. Well, yeah, you should charge more for shrub trimming because that's an additional service on top of the lawn maintenance. Same with the bagging of clippings. You should charge more because it's an additional service if your base services do not include a bagging. So to say that a little clearer, I think you should make your basic services mow trim edge blow and that you should include bagging if you want as an additional service and if you do decide to add it you should charge more for it and how much you charge is up to you it just depends on what is the labor needed and the time needed to add the bagging on top of the already mow trim edge blow and yeah i think that's it i don't want to make this video too bag too long <laughs> too long too bagging i don't want to make this video too long but that is all my views on bagging um i'm gonna go put this phone down and go for a walk in nature and continue taking care of myself i hope you guys do the same um, have a great Wednesday, y'all. I'm trying to reduce my energy drink usage, so I'm drinking White Girl Starbucks instead. So, hope you guys are fixing your habits as well. See y'all in the next one. Peace out.